Hey guys, in this episode, I wanna talk about how to test your Melee Search integration in your Rails app. Now, when you set up um, a dependency like that in your Rails app, you're gonna need your Redis server, your database server, and, and now you're gonna need your Melee Search server running for your tests. And that introduces some complexities when you're testing locally and you have development um, data, but your tests also have fixtures and you need to make sure that those are indexed properly when you're running your tests. So that's what we're gonna take a look at today. So when we're doing development, everything works fine. You can go and create a restaurant, we'll make McDonald's, it's gonna be um, fast food and a burger joint will be our restaurant. So we can do this and we can search um, and let's do something else, let's do uh, Taco Bell uh, fake Mexican and a taco joint. So if we go back to here and we say, let's search for taco, we're going to see that it hits melee search and uh, returns us the taco results. And we can see that that post to the search route is uh, returning results and you know activities happening inside of our melee search um, database. So this is running and you'll see here that it creates an index for our model automatically using the model name. So we have a model called restaurant and restaurant is the name of the index. Now this becomes a little bit of a problem because when we write tests and we have fixtures um, or we have factories or whatever, um, basically we want that data to be indexed separately from the data here.